Doing well, man. How about you? I'm good. I'm yeah. good. You have to be. <laughs> I feel like I don't have to be, but I but I definitely feel I, I can't complain. I feel like I'm in a place where it's like you can't be you can't be mad at anything right exactly. now. Exactly. I mean, yeah. you it would do no good at this point. Do no good. And no one would feel bad. No, no one would feel <laughs> you bad. Know what I'm saying? I'd be a, a jerk. Yeah, right. You know, for doing it. I yeah. have to tell you, I just spoke with Yvette Nicole Brown. I spoke with Ron Howard. Yvette said, "You're you're the kind of artist that can't help but create because it's just what's in you." Mm. Ron Howard said, your acting comes from a place that writing spurs first, so you can always move mm, when fluid. you need to. Well, that means a lot coming from those two, because I really love those two. Ah, oh, Fabro's here. When you, uh, get the, when you get the call yeah. that Lando is yours for this run of Lando. I was trying really not to freak. Well, because I, I was at my brother's house. Right. And I and I took the call in his bedroom, <laughs> and like you know, I was like, it's like when it, oh, it was. Me, it really me. was. I was like, let me, let me. Uh, and because they're like, you know, it's like the CIA. They're like, you alone, like kind of right, thing. Right. So I was like, you know, I went in there. They tell me they. They also are like, you know, you can't tell anybody. This is like top top secret. It's really hard not to go back in the room. Like brother. I mean, I know. I mean, like, <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm you, making money. You, you just, know, <laughs> yeah, I'm really said, making money out money. here. Making <laughs> money. Come on. No, but it was serious. I was serious. I was like, you know, but I told, I had to tell my dad. You know, I had to tell my dad. Like, he he was the one who got me on Star Wars in the first place. He, you know, Lando was my first toy. Yeah. I had to tell my dad immediately. First you know, toy? Call it. First toy. First toy ever. I had okay. him and a Darth Vader. I didn't even know Han existed. I think, yeah, like, I didn't, I didn't, I thought it was Land, uh, Lando <laughs> versus Darth Vader. <laughs> you know, like, as kind of thing. Kid, right? As a kid, like, you know, I, and, you know, and I, and I think I bit, Cause like Darth Vader had a lightsaber, and I think I bit it off to give it to Lando. As, as you should. As you should. You know. So, and now I can't sell those things. They'd be worth <laughs> a lot, but they're ruined because I bit them. But see, it's interesting. Even as a kid, you had this, this way of creating a narrative, crafting a narrative that was one. Yeah, the one I wanted. You it's, know? Just like, it's just like what I want. But yeah. like it was. It's just really, it feels really beautiful and cyclical to be a part of this family. It's really good. I love that you broke the rule for Pop. Oh. You know what I mean? For your dad. I love, oh. that, you, I love that it was it was. I had to. I knew it was safe with him. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like who's he going to tell? You know, really? But also, I'm like, I had to tell him. It was just important to me. I heard that you brought him to set. Is that right? I did. And it was an emotional experience. It was pretty emotional because, you know, it wasn't just, it wasn't just a sound stage. We were out in the desert. And there was a city, and we just got to walk through it and just, you know, and see the ocean. And it was just so beautiful. And, like, it was really great. Like, I just felt very proud to be able to, like, give him that experience, you know? Yeah. Like, it was just great. Billy D. Yes. You talked to the man. Yes, I did. What, did, did, you, did he give you any advice? Did he say, okay, now, brother, when you go in, you're going to want to put some smooth on He literally, when I came to him with all my ideas, yeah. One one sentence answer. He was like, "I don't know, just be charming." That was it. <laughs> that was it. Like, and then we talked about other stuff for a lot. And he was he's a cool dude, yeah, super yeah, yeah, smart, yeah, yeah. super smooth. But when I was like, "I want to do this," I was like, thinking maybe this means da da da. And he was like, "I don't even think he was looking at me." He was. I think he was like, "I don't know, just be charming," you know. Like he was like, "Can we get another?" Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like. I'm like, I'm overthinking this. <laughs> right. I should just do what he does. Exactly. Bring it back down. Just bring it back down. Be charming. Be charming. I, I believe in karma. I believe in what you put out comes back to you. And I believe that this week, these last couple days, several days for you, is, an, is a, a reflection of the things you have put out there. That's really nice of you. I, I have to say, and I, and I know I, can, I respect your choice in the way you approach your art afterward. So I, I don't, I don't want to offend you that way, but I do, no, I do no, want to no, say no. to you, thank you. I appreciate it. For creating a space for us to have a conversation that I feel like we had started to stray from mm -hmm. in a way that was responsible mm -hmm. and uh, uh, encouraging at the same time. I appreciate that. I really thank you, that. man. It was, it thank was you a, so much. It was, a really, it was a really, really cool, a really necessary yeah. thing. I really appreciate that. That's really, really nice of you. Yeah. And, I don't, and I don't take that lightly. I do.